Jesus, the light of the world, was made manifest and abolished death and brought life and immortality to light. That's how that verse mm -hmm. we're studying continues, right? He abolished, isn't that what it says? Yeah. Right? He abolished death and brought life and more immortality to light. In 1 Corinthians 15, 54 and 55, Paul had written to that church, to the church of Corinth, and he said, when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Listen to what I want to say, but then ponder. Mm -hmm. Consider. Death does not exist for believers. Right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. Let's let's it's use been up, abolished. Let's apply a little. That's right. It's been abolished. Mm -hmm. Been wiped out. So, but let's use a little logic from the Word of God, right? Okay. In Hebrews nine twenty seven, it says, "And inasmuch as it is appointed for men to die once, and after this comes the judgment, mm -hmm. it's appointed for men to die once." Okie dokie. Yes. It was appointed for me. It was appointed for you. It was appointed for us. To die once. I already did that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so bad. Because the word of God says, and I have been professing this for 40 some odd years, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. Galatians 2.20 and what it says in Colossians, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. It's appointed a man to die once when you have been born again, have accepted Jesus Christ. You've died. It's over and done. You don't have to die again. You don't. You will not die again. You have been given the gift of eternal life. You can't die. We just put off the perishable and put on the imperishable. We move out of this house and into a new. That, that's that's all death is, and that has to. When that becomes the reality of our thinking, mm. the world will sit up and take notice. That's right. Okay. We won't see the fear of death because we should have question. no fear of death. Exactly. You know, I'm sure you, if you've been following us at all, you do know that last year Alice had stage three cancer, and when I first heard that, I mean, you know, I I, I was. Uh, in the hospital, and the doctors had done a minor operation and discovered the cancer. That's what the doctor came out and bolting was his name, a guy from London, mm -hmm. and came out and told me that Alice had cancer. It was like getting punched in the stomach first. I mean, that's what it felt like. But I went upstairs and I opened my into the room where I was waiting because she was still in recovery, and I started praying. And God just spoke to me, and and He reassured me of this truth. Mm -hmm. And then later we found out that that uh, it had gone to stage three cancer, and she had to have another operation, and then she had to go to an oncologist for for treatment. And it happened that the oncologist was a Muslim fellow from originally from Lahore, Pakistan. And when we met him, I, I think he's accustomed to meeting people for the first time, and it's like, okay, you know, this is this is really kind of bad, you know, stage three cancer. And we said, no, that's not it's not a problem. Alice doesn't have cancer. And he, he gave me a strange look. I said, no, Alice doesn't have cancer. Her flesh has cancer. But Alice is not her flesh. Alice is spirit. And he kind of was taken aback by that. That wound up having an impact because we got to do a lot of ministering to him. Okay? It's just, it's true. So Jesus could say to Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus, right? And he's saying this to us all. Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? John eleven twenty five and 26. That's still a good question. Mm -hmm. Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. You'll, Amen. You, I mean, you believe this. If you believe it, you have no fear of death. That's right. If you can't, if you if you believe the words of Jesus Christ, you'll never die. 
because you already did. And death has no power over you. 